So we have um, a mother's table, and my mother-in-law passed away, and my mom is still living. So we call this the mother's table, and we've dedicated it to our moms. So that's my mother-in-law on the right, and then my mom is on the left. And um, it's, I love vintage style decorating, so there I have my, my uh, teapot and cup and pearls and um, that mirror and the gloves I found like at um, vintage stores or thrift stores and I always have pearls around but this is what we call our mother's table and, and I just love it we dedicated to our mothers then there's a picture of my mother-in-law and my father-in-law um, like I said they're both deceased and this cuckoo clock we purchased during a road trip and it really works it's just that we've turned it off but every now and then usually around the fall we we'll, we'll use it more during the fall and it ticks and it talks and the little lady bounces up and down and like I said my husband has a green thumb so these are all of his plants his babies here and I'm still in the foyer area and then we have that home sign I think that came from it may be Hobby Lobby or even um, Home Goods. Might even be Ross because a lot of items I purchased it were from Ross, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's. Um, I even go to Belk. Um, and you know, you catch them on sale. And then this Curio here has a bunch of dolls in it that are collectibles and some um, little. Um, uh, Ronald McDonald Beanie Babies and things like that that are or uh, collectibles now and then at the top we feature our Noah's Ark village so I have some Noah's Ark uh, things up there alright so let's go into our living room we used to have just a formal living room but now this is just the I call it the family room and I'm currently playing some gospel music that's what you hear in the background so I do have a twin bed in here because sometimes my husband is not feeling strong enough to come up the steps so he'll sleep down here. My mother and my father, when they visit, they sleep here. Any family member or friend that comes that can't climb the steps to the guest bedroom upstairs, this is where they will sleep. And then we also have a, a big queen air mattress. And then I have some old pictures of us when we were younger. We're going to be taking these down. I've already bought the pictures that I want up there. They're not photos, though. They're just regular pictures, um, inspirational pictures. And um, we're going to take these down and then pass these along to family members. This wall of mirrors my husband created um, when we moved in the house. So we get a lot of compliments on it. But this has been on our wall over 25 years, and he created this. He was a contractor when we bought the house, so we refurbished it. A whole lot of work has been done, and a whole lot of love has been put in to decorating our home. So I'm just going to be quiet and just show you a few features. Uh, this particular sofa set is from Ashley Furniture, and the gold pillow there is from um, Burlington Coat Factory. I'm just going to pan around. Uh, this room here is our prayer room. It's a library that's all wood carved. And I would show it to you, but that's our prayer room. So some things I think should be private. But it's all wood carved, and we have uh, our pillows in there where we go and we pray. So we do a lot of praying um, in our home. And here is uh, some other decor in the living room area. Okay, so you see, the house has four huge fireplaces because it was a big house that had, like I said, eight bedrooms. So the fireplaces have been refurbished. We've turned these two on the downstairs area into gas fireplaces. And we have a lot of little whatnots and stuff sitting around. I got a candle burning right now. and Recliner chair. This is my chair. And these recliner chairs, they plug in and you can charge your laptop or your phone or your tablet. So this is, I call it my husband's man cave because he's down here more than I am. I'm usually upstairs um, and he prays down here a lot. But I usually, uh, you know, have my inspirational things upstairs. And then this is the ottoman that came with that sofa. And we just use it as a, like a coffee table, I guess you would call it. I'm very much into storage. I like to keep things organized. And we have some bookcases back here. And 
lots of pictures and then these cartoon pictures were done by a gentleman in Baltimore over 20 some years ago and um, I just love these we had a ball when we had these done so that's John and that's myself and if you look at the windows uh, the cascade up there my husband built and put that up the windows are 124 inches long which is not a normal or average size window so we had to improvise so I came up with this design and he made it and then I bought a 98 inch long curtains and that angel I have a fan there because sometimes we don't put turn the air on we just use the fan the house will stay pretty cool but the angel there he painted and just some other little characteristics of our design uh, these gold uh, pieces that you see here I found them on clearance at home goods I couldn't turn them down they were $15 each and they had a uh, the clearance tag is still on the bottom for eight dollars so I just had to get them <laughs> and we like to play tic-tac-toe so that's there and we have some old cassette tapes um, I have some friends and family we play chess so I have a chess set there and then this picture here we purchased at Kirkland's it says we are truly blessed it's another picture of my husband and this is why I call this his room because I bought this uh, I guess you want to call it a sign that says the captain's quarters even though they said his house was owned by Captain Mormon he was a Confederate soldier but I got it because it said captain's quarters and sometimes I call my husband captain so I'm just gonna turn around and just give you one big overview of the room all the way around and he loves M&Ms try to slow down my bridal picture is there Okay, and like I said, behind this door here is this twin bed. So if you've seen the foyer, I'm going to take you into the bathroom that's downstairs. Um, this is the original sink that came with the house. So this sink is over 200 years old. And usually if I have children over, they laugh at the little tiny sink. But we wanted to keep the characteristics. I was going to make a skirt to go around it so you couldn't see the piping. But I'm okay with it. And then I spray painted a basket. And the color theme for this uh, bathroom is gray, white, and yellow. And I have a floral arrangement in the corner here. I'm going to turn the light on so you might hear a fan. And we put this wallpaper up together and I have this sign right here. It says, our family is a circle of love. Together we are unbreakable. Family is forever. And, uh, this is the color theme here in the bathroom. And I have the monogram towels and some products back there. Bath and Body Works, um, cleaning products, my essential oils. Those little cactus plants, I purchased those at Michael's. And then paper towel to dry your hands. In that great basket are some cleaning products and lotion and stuff. And this is a physical shower here behind the shower curtain. You can stay down here and take a shower. And that green uh, plant next to the great basket, I just purchased that as well at Michael's. It has a little trash can to match. And my mother gave us this set and it's sentimental. So I just keep it clean. I wash it and put it back. Put it back up. It used to be a bright orange and white, and then one day she blessed us with this color scheme, and I said, I know exactly where I'm going to put it, in the downstairs bathroom, so we have the rugs to match. And I think it's nice, you know. We, like I said, we just keep it clean and wash it over and over again, and it's been in this bathroom for some time now. So I'm going to turn that off so the fan doesn't continue to distract. We're going to go on over to the dining room. Um, this little guy right here, our knight, we purchased at a yard sale on 460 about 20 years ago. Um, actually, it was a thrift store that had items outside, and we stopped on 460, just going for a ride, and um, purchased this. And 
we just put it in the trunk of the car. I'll never forget the day that we got it. And my husband says, where are you going to put that? And I said, wait and see. And it's been sitting right here in this corner ever since. All right, so we're in the dining room. The walls in here are burgundy with white trim. Uh, these curtains my husband made. He made these curtains. And they're gold. And we have these pictures on both sides. I'll step back so you can see. I tried to go with gold, burgundy, go burgundy, white, and gold. And then I fell in love with the rose gold that's coming out and the rose gold items that are out. So I had to put a little splash of rose gold in here too. And that little box with the B on it, I made that. Um, the Campo de Monte, um, my husband gave me that. You don't see too much of that these days. And some more plants. Then we have this big fishbowl with a lighthouse and some marbles in it. Um, have these white accent chairs. Those pillows are from Target. Uh, my dining room chest um, has china in it. We have some greenery on top. We keep that light on. It just stays on. Around Christmas time, sometimes I'll switch the china out um, and make it more Christmassy. Depending on my mood, but most, for the most part, I just keep it the way it is. And periodically, I'll take those items out and wipe them down and put them back in there. But I just love this dining room hutch. It's called whitewash. Um, so many people are envious of it and they try to find it. Um, my mother gave this to us when she moved here from New Jersey. Um, she wanted, well, she said she wanted me to have some furniture from the house that we were born and raised in. When she asked me which one would I like, and I said the dining room. So she had it shipped here. And this, this used to be our family room with surround sound. And I had gingham and white furniture in here. This was the big family room. And the walls were white then. But when I knew I was getting this, I wanted the balls burgundy. Now I want to switch them back to white. So that would be a plan in the future to have it back to white. And then it has these big, we have these big high ceilings. And then here's the chandelier that's in here as well. We have the wedding ring mirrors. In a bureau, I have some rose gold items there, rose gold accents, and uh, my husband's spring and summer jackets he has is hanging on this coat rack. We just leave it here, um, and then let me show you the dining room table, and it's just simple. Um, this runner is a rose gold runner, which I found on Amazon. That rose gold tray is from... Um, Home Goods, the lanterns from Home Goods, uh, the rose gold charger plates on Amazon, um, the rose gold knife and forks are from Pier One, um, the gold um, lantern that is there, my sister in law gave them to me, and she said she purchased it at Costco's, and the gold napkin holder is from Tuesday morning, and the rose gold uh, pineapple that is from TJ Maxx. Then the fireplace in here is very big as well as large. And we have this picture of John and I here. And I just have some items sitting. So if you see anything, we have the nativity here on the fireplace mantle. And like I said, my husband's a pastor, so he has the Bible there and his uh, cap and some blessed oil. And I have some oxygen here in the house for uh, my mom or my dad if they come. That little dog there my mother purchased when we first bought the house. And it's over 22, 23 years old. See the big plants getting all that good light. Yeah, and, and I love eucalyptus. So I have some eucalyptus on the fireplace hearth. And that rug there. Alright, so now we're going to go toward that pink and yellow and blue citronella uh, candles. We use those when we're sitting outside on the deck. And uh, some yard decor that's here. So we just sat here for now because we've had the deck painted. So we're going in the kitchen and right now my kitchen is green, white, and yellow. So um, I have some uh, longer burger vase that my mother gave me when I graduated from Mary Baldwin. And I love that vase. 
Very sentimental to me. This clock came from Kirkland's. And this chest here is from my mother-in-law. And I want to paint it with white chalk paint, paint it white. Uh, my husband doesn't want me to paint it, but I want to paint it white. And then I have some palm tree uh, dishes in there. And I like to just take them to Goodwill or give them to someone and put all white dishes in there. And they have that uh, rack there with some what we use for storage. But as you can see, it's high ceilings here. And I had just have white balances here in the plantation blinds. Which I love the plantation blinds and that little basket and that little corner nook there. And this is the top of the cabinet. So I have all kind of goodies up there that we use when we're having get-togethers or that basket I use if I go see the sick, I'll put some soup and crackers in there and a candle or even some tea and uh, leave it at someone's home and bring my basket home. And then way up there, if you can see, there's more stuff. So this is the top of the, the window over the sink. And then we're back to the top of the cabinet. So like I said, my color theme here is green, white, and yellow. So this is our tea slash coffee bar. And uh, try to keep everything organized, as you can see. So we have our garlic. And then I usually just uh, use the teapot to boil. I have a yellow teapot to boil water. Or just put the water in a glass dish and use the microwave. So these are just some of the products that we're using as well. I've been doing the um, apple cider vinegar. I rotate and, and do apple cider vinegar like every other month to kind of help me with weight loss. And we keep the radio on in here. So the local gospel radio station is what you hear. I keep trays up there. and My theme used to be sunflowers and I never took this sign down or picture down. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. But I'll probably get another um, picture up. One that says uh, something with, with yellow in it. But it may even be just letters that say eat. Or I even thought about putting the fork and knife up there that I've seen the big large ones over at Home Goods, and you can see the baker's rack. Uh, that plant there is a silk plant from Home Goods, and a little tiny one there, and just a little splash on the on the dish towels there or finger towels, a lemon and yellow. So as you can see, I love the. We have a, a hank, a, a, a apron there on the side. Then we have a white cabinet here. And it has all kind of storage there on top and inside. Uh, it's like a, a pantry with uh, mostly stuff that we use to bake with. And then here is the island that's in the kitchen. I always set the table for my husband. So here lately, he comes home late in the evening from work. So I just set up this tray here for him when he comes in the door. And, and then he can just get, gather whatever I've cooked. So that's just a little thing I do to let him know how much I appreciate him. So I have his dinner tray ready. And it's just a yellow tray with a fork, napkin, and plate. Or if I'm making soup or something, it'd be a bowl or bowl. Um, that Lazy Susan that this sits on, we got this at Ikea, and I just love it. Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of vegetable chips and stuff. We keep our little snacks here. And these drawers mostly have the dish towels and finger towels and dish cloths in them. So I'm going to come on around. Got a popcorn maker, the pressure cooker, candy dish, um, my KitchenAid, which was given to me by my mom. Is a gift as well. I found this uh, big jar at Kirkland's and then I bought the lemons at Kirkland's as well. Just for a pop of color, there's my yellow teapot, uh, yellow spoon rest. Then I took a yellow flower pot and used that to hold our utensils. And they're yellow, of course. Mm, beautiful uh, yellow candle there. It smells like um, cream, lemon and cream. Cutting board came from Tuesday morning. That uh, yellow toaster oven came from one of my aunts. He gave that to us as a housewarming gift. And then you see my other tea steamer there. And then also have a, a, a Cuisinart uh, yellow kettle pot there. And then our smoothie station or 
milkshake station. Uh, this yellow pitcher I bought at Home Goods, and the flowers are from um, Dollar Tree. Just a little splash of color here and there. And right now I have dinner in the crock pot. So I have some red kidney beans with rice and carrots, sweet potatoes, onions, garlic, and a little bit of avocado oil uh, in the crock pot right now. So, yeah, and I may put some kiwi in there about 6 or 7 o'clock um, just to tighten it up a little bit and, you know, have a, a high fiber uh, content. Um, Mrs. Meyer's products, I placed them on a cake plate stand. And where I keep the uh, dish towels, uh, dish drain, and you see I have this great big window over the sink and I love it. So my husband is the green thumb person so we have plants everywhere. <laughs> I use that essential oil there in the blue bottle. Sometimes I sprinkle some of that in the sink at night and in the morning you come down and the kitchen smells like uh, lemon oil. I just love it. Got my honey pot there. And uh, that's it for the kitchen. So I'm going to back up. We have these high back chairs. Those chairs came from Pier 1. And the back door. Alright, and now we're going to just walk on upstairs and I'll try to go slow. So you can have a good view. Walk up the steps. So there are 24 steps to climb to get to the bedroom. Um, the best of you see on this 37 feet high. There's our pumpkin that we adore. So even coming up the steps, we're still giving the Lord thanks for all he has done for us and for others. And then I have this lamp here floor lamp. Uh, this picture was given to us by mother and uh, the Lord's Supper picture here on the wall as you come up the steps and then uh, some decor as you come up the steps here. It's a big window. I'm on the ledge now of the best of the uh, stairwell and we have some copper diamante here on the walls. These were gifted by my mom from an estate sale in New Jersey. And I just love them, they're beautiful. I have to dust them off from time to time. I'll turn around and give you a good view. What's this stairwell? There's a big window that meets you at the top of the steps here. Here's a lighting. And then when you look down the foyer, this is what you see. So I'm upstairs now in the landing here. And this is what's on the wall when you come up. And I have a cabinet here and a lamp. And these plants are from Pier 1. Uh, this mirror here came from Macy's and then also some photos of hubby and I that are here on the cabinet as well so sometimes my bag bothers me so he was kind enough to put our wash machine and dryer in the guest bedroom all right so this furniture uh, was gifted also from my mom and it's a big wardrobe and I love it. And then on this side is where I have my laundry area. Wash machine and dry in the laundry area. And a little mat there. And the fireplace. This is a wood fireplace here. So I put that mirror there in the front. If we want to burn wood, we can just move this uh, bench and stuff out of the way and burn some wood in there. Here's the dresser to this set right here. So I have like a coral and white theme going in here. This is the bed for our guests. 
And there's a bench here where they can sit and relax. And that screen comes, they can turn it and watch the television. And then my husband made me a closet in here, so I have some clothes hanging here and some luggage. So that's pretty much for this room. Okay, and we'll walk on over and look at the bathroom and upstairs here it's burgundy white and gold. I navigate the mobs in burgundies and white. This curtain they came from JC Penny in the bathroom. They were shower curtains, the cloth ones, but I use them for curtains for the window. And then this picture here came from um, Burlington Coke Factory. And we have some items up here. We're just going to pan around. Uh, the shower head is from Amazon. It's a waterfall shower head. Makes me feel like I'm at the spa. It's wonderful. Great investment. Great investment. It's nice to create that ambiance in your home. That picture also is from Burlington. And then we have the medicine cabinet. And the pedestal sink. And have some storage there. On my digital scale, which I get on every Saturday. Uh, the product I'm using this month to shower is by a company called uh, Jason. It's all natural. I love this product. It's very nice. Very moisturizing. Very hydrating. And then uh, our towels are burgundy and white. So we have a little makeshift uh, plant or succulent combination here going and these are all from Pier 1 and in the Pier 1 and Michaels and then at the bottom I took a, a candle holder and wrapped some white and rolled some white washcloths and put those in the center and then I have this chair here to sit and rest or lay your robe on and then we also have this hook here where I can hang my robe and then I also have a towel wrap. Sometimes I'll use this towel wrap when I'm stepping out of the shower. I have my foot spa section stuff here. And then this bin has all my products for my hair and facials. And also um, my husband has some of his shaving products there as well. Uh, this rug came from Dollar General. And I like how it covered practically the whole floor. And then this is the toilet area. And then our towels are behind here, the towel bar. All right, and going in into this room, which is our bedroom. I'll uh, start on this side here and go around. This is our dresser. So the left side is mine and the right side is his. And as you can see, we both like products. <laughs> but we keep it neat, we know where everything is, we keep it organized. Over here is his medicine and my jewelry I'm wearing. I have a lot of costume jewelry. I love costume jewelry. And that letter J for John. And then our marriage contract agreement card that we purchased. He looks at that every morning. And on this mirror here, it features a lot of people that are in our lives that he prays for. And that I pray for. And then we have the mirror on the wall above the lamp. But I plan on changing that and getting one of those big mirrors to go behind the lamp like they have the styles in the hotels. And we have our Mr. and Mrs. on our bed here. The captain's window above the, the bed here. It's my little mini office there. And I love this mirror here. And the Mr. and Mrs. that we have featured here on the fireplace. Those lanterns are on the timer. They come on at night and it's so beautiful, so romantic. And in front of the fireplace I have this huge vase with some silk flowers and candle burning and then some fireplace tools in case we want to burn wood. And at the foot of the bed we have uh, these two chairs and a table. And I have a basket there with extra blankets. 
And then his closet is mirrored. This is Hubby's closet. And his high boy. All of his hats and caps. And we have our television. This is for storage as well that the television is on. And my vanity. And then I have storage in those white bins there. Um, my wallet, sunglasses, nightgowns, um, travel bags are in there. Um, some um, gifts. If um, I want to give someone a gift, if I buy something like from Bath and Body Works and it's on clearance, little clearance items. I have one drawer full of items that are on clearance that I can use for gifts so I don't have to always run to the store. And then in that basket is where that holds my wigs. I keep them there. And then there's my letter B in love. And we have this bench here that we sit in. So almost a little catch-all as well. So his pajamas are there and Sunday school book and his Bible. He also has a Bible downstairs too. And then that's my nightgown there. And then we also have an air purifier in here as well. And the door. The letter B there on the door. Little things like this. I bought this at um, Steinmark. And then uh, the dress I'll probably wear to church tomorrow. I went on and laid my clothes out. So this concludes Brenda's Bad Moments Home Tour. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe and comment and tell others and share. Have a wonderful, blessed day. And goodbye.